Alright. This is uh, what it says by 2011. This was, this was in from 2011, someone uh, pointed out. I don't have, I don't know how I can give the link. But if, maybe that should be enough if you want to pull it out, pull it up yourself. You get a, uh, you know, type in what that is. And as you read, and this is in 11, 2011, you know, about how Obama was a puppet, how he came out of nowhere, how they gotten, and this is said 2011, so this was before Trump. And it points out this article was written about how they've, or not they, Soros, you know, it gives his history. He's a Jew. His family was a Jew, but non practicing Jew, okay, which was fine. But what was fucked up that by World War II, 1944, I guess he was 14, he went along and this is a true story he he admitted it on an interview you could read the article where he helped take property from jews you know before they went got sent to the you know uh concentration camps right and he helped went along with one of a i guess a nazi he became and the nazi befriended him and and like the article says it's like was that you know and, and no, he he says it was the best year of his life. You know, that was his favorite. No, it made him feel powerful. It didn't make him feel bad. You know, basically it'd be like a nigga, you know, a black person going around rounding up black people's belong and which I can honor, I can definitely see. I've been seeing that. That's why a lot of us, you know, know Black Lives Matter is bullshit. You know, these niggas don't give a fuck about other niggas. And like I said, that happens in every race. You got traitors. It's just human. You know, the person is, it has nothing to do with race. The person just is a psychopath. He, this guy is a fucking psychopath. He's psychotic. And he's a billionaire. And they said, you know, that, that tells you right there how he became. It doesn't mean all capitalists are like that. That's just his particular mode, especially the time. He was born in 1930. So in the 50s and 60s, as he's getting older, his practices. You know, and obviously it was just him because he became everybody else didn't become a billionaire. That means he was just so ruthless and a psychopath. You know, inhuman. Who knows what that motherfucker did by the time he got to the United States or wherever he is. And, you know, and, and by the 80s, and I think he made his first billion by 1990, it says, you know, in this article. And so who knows what he was doing back in the 60s and he was actually working with or even if he wasn't working with the Nazis as a 14 year old he was a tag along you know like when uh you know just take your son to work day and the dude was his adopted godfather that's what he calls him in this article he said the guy was like his godfather so a guy a Nazi befriends a 14 year old and takes him along on his job of killing Jews and taking their shit. And he said he enjoyed it. And this man is still alive today. And funding Black Lives Matter. He He's behind Black Lives Matter and Antifa. And all of this shit. This guy is a fucking psychopath. He wants to kill all of us. The bill powerful. He admitted it. And this, like I said, this article was 2011. So it is not a fucking conspiracy theory. This man admits he's a... The question is, why is he still a, a, a free man? But you see, like I said, in 2011, it says he has his tentacles inside of the Republican Party and the Democrat Party, you know. But really, you know, and so you got the wrong people. It would be like... Uh, you know, they're, you know, nowadays they're going to get mad, uh, uh, emotional, because it's about, it says about Obama, you know, and say, oh, this is, must be some racist, and, you know, like, why are y'all refusing to just look at the truth? 
What, what did he do that was so great for you? Yeah, like that just said, he killed and robbed his own Jewish people. He's an atheist. Anti-American, anti this guy, and this is this is dead serious. And you 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 it again. You know this nonsense. I was looking at this other video which says just basically says what all of us a lot of us said about especially the riots. And I've been saying it on my videos since the beginning. Remember, because I said it's about a fucking crackhead, right? That's crackheads trying to. You know, you got other people pointing out the same. This has nothing to do with the '60s, '50s civil rights movement, which had, like they said, had real causes. You couldn't drink out of a water fountain, certain water fountain. You had colors only. And these motherfuckers, an 18 year old boy, you can do and do and go wherever you want. Unless, of course, like I said, you know, these gang stalkers watching you, these liberals, these Democrats, they're the only ones stopping you if you're not part of their group. But other than that, you can do whatever the fuck you want to do. And see, you know, it's up to you. If you want to commit crimes, that's on you. You can't do the time, don't do the crime. But other than that, you do whatever the fuck you want to do. As long as you do whatever you can handle. You know what I'm saying? You do, you know, whatever the consequences of what you did, you do whatever you can handle. Because that's what I said. Nobody's having sympathy of you playing victim. Oh, I didn't have nobody to teach me. I, I, I was sent to foster homes. Yeah, okay, but that means while you in prison, we still going to send you to prison. I know you thought you was going to get out of it. But maybe you'll learn and go to some. We'll we'll send you to counseling. We'll, you know, them classes that will counsel you about the anger. Since you were so angry about having been in foster families, you know, you ain't had neither one of your parents. You get all the little help you need, courtesy of the state, while you're in prison. But you're still going to prison. You know, so don't try to play victim. That's the problem. Everybody sees that all y'all are doing is playing victim to get away with committing crimes. You know, and the 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 brainwashed who are following this shit, and we see what the leaders are doing for the rest of us. They're trying to take away our rights, just like I said, like yesterday, to where we can't stick up for ourselves. We all are, you know, outnumbered us, and and they didn't rile y'all motherfuckers up, and they want to take away our Second Amendment rights, so we can't protect ourselves. And y'all can be the angry mob tearing shit. You know, they, they, there was pictures of it. Yeah, that's another thing. They don't even show how there were pictures of them tearing up cars. I mean, literally, just regular people. This was weeks ago. Busting people's shit. They, they had blocked down one street in L.A. Or on the highway. Civilians, not the police. Civilians. They don't, they, you know, they don't show that shit. Breaking their shit. Can you afford that somebody bust your window? Your insurance going to go up. They they damage it. You know, you banging on the hood. That's going to damage your hood. Kicking cars. All this kicking doors and shit like that. They don't say shit about that. You know, people comment like, shit, I wish that was me. You know what I'm saying? These motherfuckers be dead. And it's like, you know, but we know the liberals had taken over, you know, the mayors and all that. So they're going to try to prosecute you. But... Anybody with common sense, like, no, that was a situation where they felt endangered for their life. But they're going to be like, but no, they were unarmed. That's another thing. You know, they make sure they're unarmed, air quotes, not with a gun. But they got bats. And, ten and even if they don't have bats, they kicking your car, kicking your window. They can snatch you out the car and beat. People can get beat to death. So if the person hit the gas, oh, this razor tried to run over people. And you standing in front of the car, banging on a car, busting a window. No, that 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 is that is a life or death situation. You were the dummy who tried to actually fight a car, so you got ran over, dumbass nigga. You know what I'm saying? If you think you can fight a car, you're the Incredible Hulk or Superman or Spider Man, and you could punch a car and it stops. Or you got an Iron Man suit on, that means you're on LSD or acid, and you need. <laughs> <laughs> you need to leave that acid alone got you thinking you can fight a car you know and you're gonna win 
I don't care how mad you are. You can't, you know, slapping the car and banging the car window ain't going to make that car stop. You know, you're kind of slow or either you're on acid or LSD, you know, or LSD, you know, you are something, you own something. I don't care how mad you get. It's not like when you get mad and hit a person, they might stop, but you hit the wrong person. But a car definitely not going to stop. It's a machine. Just like if you work at a, a, a dangerous place around dangerous machinery. You know, I've done that before. You know, you're extra careful. You know, you, you, shit. Some of your co I've been placed co worker. He, he lost a finger. You know, he, he, he just don't, don't, uh, you don't fuck with shit like that. <laughs> they, they, see, see what I'm saying? They make the little boy come out here with his little bike. I don't know what that gay shit is about. If I was as far as I'd knock the shit out of this little bitch ass right now. <laughs> Why are you goddamn keep coming out in front of this man? I'd beat the shit out of that little bitch if he was my son right now. <laughs> you gonna cut that gay shit out, bitch. But anyway. So. Uh, like I said, uh, cause like I said, I've been here three years and I, this is the first, the, the last two times I don't see kids riding bikes around here. So like I said, I don't know what this gang stalker shit about. You know, they got, they on some weird shit. But, uh, like I said. <laughs> You got to teach these kids, man. That, that's what I'm saying. That's why they up there. You can say, well, he ain't riding with us. He, he's a gang stalker. He's part of the program. Who knows what he was doing? And riots are over with. He could have been out there. We don't know that. That was three weeks ago. And we don't follow people around like these do, like these gay, gay ass niggas do. I don't follow people around. You know what I'm saying? But, uh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, I know. Yeah. Also, that dude who video I showed you in that last video, he uh he's mad at me seriously because he uh because I be making comments because he used the words in one of his videos. I ain't gonna find it, but he did. It's, it's a couple of days ago. He said following guys around. Those are specifically my words, and he wasn't talking about gang stalking. It it, it, it doesn't fit in the the subject. It was, a, it, like I said, most of his subject is like, uh, air quotes, red pill. And so following other dudes around, I think I may have called them gay a couple of times on in this comment section. That might, that might be why he's so mad. And uh, the gang stalkers came to him and, you know, obviously this is not, this is not a exaggeration. I could tell he, uh, he was copying my words literally because remember, you know how I, when I get mad at these niggas, you know. Gay yeah, ass nigga, you following me to fuck around. How you gonna, just like the dude yesterday, you following me, bitch. So how the fuck, you followed me in here. And how am I the big man? You know, I think I, I got an attitude where I'm the big, but you followed me in here. That's gonna, actually, that is gonna actually boost anybody's fucking attitude of I mean, uh, ego, even if it is another dude, because, you know, normally, most guys, like I know, we don't like that shit. You know, like when you was younger, somebody really following you around, quit following me around, you know, because they on your, they, you know, they, you know, whatever, they want to be down with you. You know, nigga, quit following me, damn. You know what I'm saying? Go over there. No, you know what I'm saying? Get the fuck up. Quit following me, you little bitch. Damn, I ain't finna hang with you. So, no, when dudes follow dudes that don't boost your ego, you know, we get mad. They're like, nigga, and most of us, we learn that. And most of us, we never did it. But we learned from watching other dudes who followed other dudes around. They're like, nah, you know, you already knew better than to be some little tag along. Yeah, exactly, a tag along. You know, so, you know what I said? Nigga, you tagging along with me, bitch. You came in here. I ain't coming here with you. I came in here and I grabbed what I got, what I wanted to get, and that's it. I'm going back home to cook my dinner, nigga. Shit, I, you came in here, you know. And stalking me like a little bitch, you know what I'm saying? You can't even lie and say you didn't. So you you can get mad like a little hoe. Oh, you you, you Mr. Big Shot. No, no bitch, you you follow me. Like I said, you what you looking at me too hard? 
You pay it too, way too much attention, but that's good because I'm going to keep talking because y'all stupid idiots, for some reason, th this, this thought this little tactic would really work on the whole country. And you really thought that y'all were actually doing something because this billionaire is funneling money. No, that's just one person, his evil agenda. Normal people see through your bullshit. They see your cowards, your crybabies, you know, you play victim, you're lazy as fuck. You're not going to make it, bro. You, you spent all, y'all put all this energy into stopping other black folks from being successful. And you could have just put all of that time and effort into making yourself successful. It's just stupid. You're not going to stop us. You're just going to be even madder. That's all that's going to happen. You guys just going to be even madder and probably die from anger. You know, you just don't die, your blood vessels gonna burst. But you're like, well, you get angry too, yeah. But when I get angry, remember, I'm, I'm a paratrooper. I get angry, that's just therapeutic for me. You know, for you, 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 you don't know how to vent that shit. You don't know how to win. You don't know how to fight. You're gonna die because it's all on the inside, and you're just gonna bust a, have a stroke or something. But anyway, let me just uh, finish what I was doing. I just had to say this right quick. <laughs>